See if you can beat me if you know Yu-Gi-Oh better than I do. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're going to be figuring out, am I really a Yu-Gi-Oh fan? Do I know my Yu-Gi-Oh trivia? I decided I was going to search Yu-Gi-Oh quizzes online, and we're going to take them and see what happens. Let's see if I'm a true Yu-Gi-Oh fan. So we have the hardest Yu-Gi-Oh trivia quiz you'll ever take. Before we get started, you guys should take this quiz with me, so whenever I'm thinking about it, Go ahead and get your answer and then you can see if you're right or wrong. Let me know what you got out of 15 in the comments and you guys can win the TLM cards we pulled from that box the other day. We only got three pulls, but we did get an ulti and we got a Reshef. So you guys will have a chance to win these if you guys take the quiz with me. And then you let me know what you guys got. All right, that sounds a little intimidating, not gonna lie. Let's see what we can find here. What is the name of the card that lets its holders claim the $3 million prize for winning Duelist Kingdom? Glory of the King's Hand, right? Right? Not set so for the kingdom, not opposite hand, obviously. Let's, that's it. Correct. One for one, baby. How does Yugi defeat Weevil's Great Moth? My Great Moth! Okay, there we go. Sorry, I had to do that. How does Yugi defeat Weevil's Great Moth? Okay, wait. The Burning Land card to destroy it. Gaia the Dragon Champion destroys it, but it also gets destroyed since they have the same attack points. They both do have the same attack points. That could be true. Mammoth Graveyard makes it rot from the inside out. That's Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. No, it's not that. Maiku, the Magical Mist, gives Summon Skull enough attack points to destroy the Great Moth. And then he uses Lightning st Lightning Strike! I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Or is that the perfectly ultimate Great Moth? Ooh, it's a tricky question, guys. I gotta think here. Hmm. I am gonna go with... I'm about to choke. What could it be? I, I'm going to go with Summon Skull. I don't think he had Perfectly Ultimate Great Moth yet. Okay, we got it. I thought about it way too much. I almost thought myself into missing that. Who impersonated Kaiba in a duel against Yugi in Duelist Kingdom? One of Bandit Keith's henchmen. That's not it. Mimic of Doom. Mm, that might be it. One of Pegasus Guards. An illusion created by Yami Bakura. I thought it was... No, I was thinking of... I was thinking of Panic. It's not Panic. Okay, Panic was a different person. So it was, hmm, who's Mimic of Doom? Is that, the, it's the clown guy. Isn't that him? Is it the clown guy? Is that, is his name Mimic? I mean, that would make sense. He's copying him. What, it wasn't one of Pegasus's guards, I don't think. It's either Mimic or Yami Bakura. I don't think Yami Bakura was, I don't think it was Yami Bakura. Let's go with Mimic. Okay, we got it. We got it. All right. Why does Johnny Steps forfeit in his duel against Yugi? Johnny Steps? I don't even remember him. To pursue his passion of dance? Okay, I kind of do remember this guy. Isn't this guy after, like, Duelist Kingdom? So he can catch Yami by surprise and kidnap Taya. He realized Yami was the duelist who defeated Pegasus. He was being mind-controlled by Merrick. Forfeit his duel against Yugi. I don't even remember this. So he can catch Yami by surprise and kidnap Taya. I feel like that's not it. He realized Yami was the duelist who defeated Pegasus. Why would he forfeit because of that? He's being mind controlled by Merrick. Why would Merrick make him forfeit? To pursue his passion of dance. Why would he quit to dance? That seems like something that would happen though. He'd be like, okay, uh, I realize I'm not a duelist. I'm actually a dancer, so I'm going to quit. I feel like that would be something that would happen. I don't know this one. I think I'm going to miss this one. I feel like pursue his passion of dance is going to be right. I'm about to, I'm about to guess it. No, what was it? He, re what? He gave up because of that? I don't remember that guy, really. I don't even remember when that happened. You guys have to let me know in the comments. No, we missed one. Okay. How does Joey defeat Weevil's perfectly ultimate Great Moth? Okay. There's the perfectly ultimate Great Moth. Time Wizard's effect destroys it. Mm, I don't remember if that happens. That happens a few times. Grave, Grave Robber lets him use Eradicating Aerosol from Weevil's Graveyard to destroy the Moth. Maybe. Joey uses a combination of Skull and Graceful Dice to weaken his moth and boost Parasite. Parasite? No, that can't be right. He used Magical Arm Shield to redirect Insect Queen's attack to a perfectly ultimate Great Moth. I think it's Eradicating Aerosol. Is that what it is? Why did? Why would Weevil be using that card, though? Doesn't that destroy insects? Does Joey even use insects? Man, I'm about to make a bad grade, guys. We're going to go with Eradicating Aerosol. Ah! Uh oh! What? Parasite? Parasite killed it? No way. This is crazy. Okay, okay. I'm three for five now. This is not good. How many times did we see the Egyptian god cards summoned during the Battle City arc before the true winged dragon of Ra was summoned? Oof. Okay, so the first time they were summoned, I think Kaiba was like dueling random people in the street, right? Okay, before we saw the true winged dragon of Ra. Okay, there was that. And then Slifer was summoned by Strings, right? So that's two times. Did they see the Winged Dragon of Raw after that? I have this is this is hard. This is not, this is not easy. Not gonna lie. 
I need to like watch the whole show before I took this. This is really tough. Okay. It wasn't five, surely, right? I think it might have only been two. I feel like he's the true wing dragon of raw though. The way seeing the true wing dragon of raw. I mean, did he summon like sphere mode or something? I can't remember. It can't be two. It can't be two. But I, I can only remember two. We're gonna have to go two. We're gonna miss it. It was five! Oh my goodness! Obelisk versus all oh, dueling computer. Lumis and Umbra. I don't really remember that one. Slifer. Did he summon Slifer? Koji and Nagumo. Is that the random people? And then Slifer versus Yugi. McCourt, man, guys, I'm not a true fan. It's it's obvious now. Which character once convinced a jury that a man terrified of water stole a boat? Do I even know these characters? Johnson? Is it? No, Johnson is one of the the five, uh, what, what are they called? The five guys that they fight in like the virtual world. So it's not him. Gozaburo Kaiba is also in the virtual world, right? Yeah, because he, he has Exodia Necros or whatever. Nesbit or Lighter? I don't know who Lighter is. I feel like I'm not even pronouncing that right. Nesbit. It's got to be Nesbit. It what? What? Oh my goodness! Oh, <laughs> I have missed four in a row now. How does Swift Guy attack directly in Yugi's duel against Gansley? Oh, we're getting into the weird ones. I don't. I definitely don't know these. It was Karibo's once per duel effect as a deck master. Possible deck master. Yeah, we're into season three now, and now it gets weird. The equip card Rainbow Blessing let Karibo build a rainbow bridge in order to launch a direct attack. Swift Guy can attack directly on turn his normal summon. No, that's not right. He, that's not its well, the show, who knows? I feel like it's gotta be like the deck master thing. If it's build a rainbow bridge, how would I miss that? It's gotta be this. Uh, it was part of rainbow. What does that mean? I need pictures! Rainbow Bridge. Rainbow Blessing needs to be... Karibo needs to be sacrificed in order for Yugi's monsters to attack directly. However, at no point does Karibo appear to be sacrificed. Cheating! Cheating! This is ridiculous. This is the hardest quiz ever. You guys need to... I should have said at the beginning, you guys should take this with me. I'm gonna... I'm probably gonna add that at the beginning. You guys need to try and take this thing. This thing's hard. What card does Kaiba use to make Blue Eyes White Dragon survive Time Wizard's effect in Battle City? Interdimensional Matter Transporter. I know this one. Let's not miss it, though. Let's make sure. Let's read everything. Okay, I knew that one for sure. We finally got one after a six mystery. Who is the first character we see use? Seal of Onicalcos. Oh, no. It's not Raphael. It's one of these dudes. It's one of these dudes. They have three pictures there. Okay, Valen. I don't know who that is. It's probably one of these guys. Alistair, I think, is one of them. I don't know who Gurumo is, Garimo or whatever that is. I'm gonna go with, I can't remember, this is season four stuff. Which I've seen like once, maybe. No, I've probably seen it twice. Valen or Alistair? One of them is the one, oh, I can't remember. I think it's this guy with the hair. I think it's the hair guy, but I don't know what his name is. I am pretty sure that it's Valen. Uh Garimo, Garimo. Who is that? Okay, it must have been that must have been his name. I think. Let me know. Let me know, guys. <sighs> okay, continuing. Which monster is created when Joey combines Hermos with Time Wizard? There's a picture of. They even give you pictures. And I'm still missing stuff. Hermos with Time Wizard. Ancient Dragon Hermos. Okay, that sounds accurate because he gets old. It's Time Wizard. Time Magic Hammer. No. Dragon Master Wizard. No. Rock. It's Ancient Dragon Hermos, right? Uh Time Magic Hammer. Oh, no, I don't know this. All right, all right. How does Mai force Joe to duel her in the Waking the Dragon's Ark? She used mind controlling perfume. No, that's not true. She stole the Claw of Hermos card from him. Maybe. She used the power of Oricalcos to temporarily control his mind. She activated the Silver Oricalcos, which forced them into a duel. That sounds right. I think that's right. She activated the Oricalcos, right? Yes, yes, we got it, okay. What is the name of the field card that Siegfried reprogrammed with a virus to infect Kaiba's computer databases? I know this one. Simply Unlucky also knows this one. <laughs> is the Golden Castle Strongbow. Okay, there we go. Who does Seto Kaiba face in his final duel in the original series? It's gotta be when they're in Egypt, right? Yugi, Yami, Yami Yugi, Zork, Yugi Moto, or Yami Bakura. I don't think he duels Yugi, right? They only duel three times. I don't think they duel in the fifth season. Um, Zork, does he duel Zork? Or is that Yugi? Yugi, M Yugi, M why do we say Modo when it's M-U-T? I don't know. Is it Modo? How do you pronounce that? I don't know. Okay, so it's not Yami Yugi. I don't think it's Yugi Modo. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with Yami Bukura. Yes, we got it. Okay. 
Which trap card does Yugimoto activate to make the Slife of the Sky Dragons effect destroy all the Egyptian God cards? Mystical Ref Pen. I don't think it's that one. I just like to say that. But Magnet Force, Remote Revenge, Mystical Ref Panel, or Shift. Maybe it is Mystical Ref Panel. I don't remember any of these other ones. Magnet Force. That could be something because he uses magnets. I feel like this is something that Yami Yugi uses. I'm going to go with this. <laughs> 7 out of 15 correct. You might want to do some studying. Ooh, you've probably watched a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh, but you have much to learn. <laughs> much to learn you still have. Okay, so that was a disaster. All right, so uh, yeah, that was pretty tough, guys. That was definitely the hardest Yu-Gi-Oh quiz I've ever taken. But I hope you guys took it along with me, and hopefully you did better than 7 out of 15. I'm less than 50%. It's pretty bad. I started like 3 for 3. I finished 4 for 12. That's not good. That's not good. I need to re, re you know, touch up on some of these seasons. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like the video, be subscribed, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Okay, oh. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs>